Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well, hanging in there. I wanted to do a video today that sort of talks about the beginning of the process. Uh, the last video that I posted, sort of uh, showing my work in progress, was a little too complicated, I feel. And I wanna back up and show you a few of the masks and how I made them at the very, very beginning stages um, and how simple it truly is when you start out. I've got this shape right here. It's essentially two eggs, two ovals on each side. And this was a V shape that I cut out, literally drew a V on the cardboard and cut it out with my X-Acto knife and then glued the V wrapped around the front to back because I like that angle. So it creates a little pocket when you do that. And this is such a simple but effective mask shape because then it can become anything. You can choose where the eyes go, you can add on horns if you wanna do that, you can do ears, or you could just leave it like this, paper mache on top of it and go from there. I like my nice cardboard that I got out of the Publix recycling bin. Um, of course, I'm using glue, you can use tape as you know. Uh, if you are using glue or tape, you might wanna create these tab reinforcers that are on the inside. They work really, really well help it hold up, you can paper mache over that. This is another one that's a variation on that same concept. Um, I started with two oval shapes and then I did a strip of cardboard that runs front to back. It just creates a well, a little bit of depth. And then I added these wings to each side and I'm gonna take those and add on spikes or ears or something like that I haven't even figured out yet but you can sort of get the idea there. Um, this one here made a stormtrooper mask with my son. He is on homeschooling right now as everyone is. And um, I thought it would be a fun arts and craft project to do. Um, so this was a 30 minute project. You, you, I want you guys to paper mache. We did not do that. Um, but you know what the simple idea is essentially the same as what you guys are doing. I started with the overall shape of the Stormtrooper helmet. I added a brace on the bottom to force the curvature into place. I added a brace on top. So it's solidified by two braces, keeping the curve in place. I've got some tabs, glue tabs on the bottom to keep it in pace. And um, you could just easily paper mache on top of this and, and get a shape that's like that. Uh, because of the project with him, I just painted directly on it to get the idea. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, you can tell from my little sheet right here. I just wanted to show you how I start out when I begin to come up with a concept. Um, this idea right here is essentially this. You can see that we've got your oval, you've got your cardboard piece, wraps around top to bottom. You can make that fat, skinny, whatever you wanna do. This piece is a similar idea. I think Adam did a bird mask that is similar to this concept. You've got a wavy shape on the front, you got, or I should say sides, left to right, and then a nice cardboard piece that um, glues and holds that into place, creates the pocket where your face can go on the inside of that. Um, if you're a little bit more uncomfortable with that sort of wrapping around, I recommend just literally cutting the shape out, having a piece of cardboard that glues around the edge, maybe on the top as well. Of course, you can then as you've got that shape in place, cut your eye holes out, cut your mouth out if you'd like to do that, and go from there. Um, you know, interestingly enough, I rarely think or worry about the mouth and eyes. The main thing for me is simply getting the shape in place. And hopefully that's what this will help you do. Um, a lot of you guys already know this stuff, but it's a little bit of a review since we're now coming away from a few weeks of class and it's very easy to forget things. So hopefully that helps. If you've got questions, send me an email. I'd love to hear from all of you. Good luck on the, uh, the Pop Culture Remix project too. Hit me with ideas if you want to.